What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Danny, and I'd like to thank you for checking out another one of my haul videos. In this video, we got some stuff from Megacon, and I'm going to kind of do this in two different parts. Uh, I know you guys like to get to the goods, so I will do the unboxing first, but then I'm going to tell you how I went about getting things from Megacon because I didn't attend. Um, and this goes back to where I was talking about in my previous video, how you can use community members to still get things, exclusives at cons that you may not be able to attend yourself, but still obtain uh, some awesome things from that particular con. So if you want to stick around to see how I made everything happen after we do the unboxing, I will go ahead and share that information with you. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, yes, I have a couple of CGC books that are uh, signature series. They were signed. Uh, I also have a piece of art that I'm going to share with you. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And as always, I hope everyone is having a, a wonderful start to the year. We're already halfway or more than halfway through February now, and uh, things are moving along. And I hope that it's a good start for you so far. And let's go ahead and get this pulled out for you. So let's see what we got here. Again, these are all signature series books. And we want to see how they turned out. And again, I'll share how I made this happen after we take a look at everything. But let's see what we got. I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to remove them from the, the plastic bags too. That way I could just run through every book all at once. All right. So, the first book up is, this is, let me put these right here, Canto issue number one. This is an exclusive. Uh, the cover is done by the artist Gorkum Demir. And we got a 9.8. And that is his special signature. Hopefully you guys can see that there. He calls it his uh, Sim Sig. Uh, and what that is, <laughs> uh, if you follow Gorkum Namir, this was one of his, uh, he said this was his rarest US exclusive that he's ever done, um, which I think this book was limited to like 300 copies. Um, but you guys know that like the king of signatures as far as making them different colors was Clayton Crane. And a lot of artists started to follow suit after Clayton Crane and specialized their signatures. You know, um, Mayhew has specialized signatures. Um, Liefeld has specialized signatures, <clears throat> like his chiseled signature, things like that. So Gorkum also made up his own signature. He does a lot of um, venomized stuff. Uh, that's kind of his thing. So the SimSig stands for uh, Symbiote uh, Infinity Murder Signature, Sim. So that's what that stands for. So he combined his styles, you know, and kind of got the Infinity Sig thing like Clayton Crane um, and the murder. But this is his version of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. And uh, it does have the Megacon custom label on there. Uh, these were free. Uh, it looks like maybe this is going to be a thing where CGC does uh, specialized labels for these cons. They did one for the NYCC last year, and now they did one for Megacon this year. So I'm probably expecting they're going to do the same thing for like SDCC where they make a specialized custom label and they actually don't charge for the specialized one. Regular custom labels are like $5, but these are free. So that turned out awesome. I love it. I love it. And uh, yeah, the SimSig turned out great. And I'll go over 
you know, how much that costs. And I'll give you guys all the details, all the details. So let's get our next book up, which is Strange Academy issue 13. It is the Arthur Adams, uh, I believe character spotlight variant. And there's a signature right there. And we got a 9.8. Awesome, awesome. I love it. This is an awesome cover. I absolutely love uh, Arthur Adams art. I have all of the Arthur Adams uh, signature, excuse me, uh, character spotlight uh, for the Strange Academy series. And I thought this one would be a cool one to get signed uh, by him. So we are on a roll. I don't have a lot of books, but it was more like quality over quantity in this, in this case where I just picked a handful of books that I wanted to get signed. So perfect, again, with the Megacon custom label on it. And the reason why I chose the Megacon custom label because these particular books, CGC doesn't have uh, custom labels per se for this these particular titles. They don't have a Canto custom label, a Strange Academy custom label. Uh, so I just chose to get the, the Megacon label instead. So, and it was free. So, you know, can't beat free, can we? All right. So the last book we have is Star Wars Darth Vader. Uh, this is issue 21. It is the issue with Moth Gideon on there. So if you are a fan of the show Mandalorian, uh, he is one of the characters uh, on that show. And we got a 9.8. But also, this is the actor Giancarlo Esposito's signature um, on this book. Let me see. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's right up here at the top. He signed it in gold. But uh, that is his signature. And it looks amazing. And I love that he chose to sign it in gold. I didn't even request that, but I sure do appreciate it because it really goes well with this um, gold border book. So I am super, super happy about this. Now, in my last video, uh, I did mention the community member, I call him Jay, that was going to be getting something cool signed for me. Initially, I have I have the Moff Gideon hot toy, and I was going to send the base to Jay to get it signed, uh, but then I kind of remembered that I had this comic book, which actually, you know, I think maybe a little bit easier as far as you know getting a signature on it, and I decided to send the comic book instead of the hot toy. So, um, very pleased with how this turned out. Uh, I find out after that. He, the actor, will actually be coming to my local con, which is called Phoenix Fan Fusion. So in actuality, I could have gotten this sign on my own, but they didn't make the announcement until well after the fact where I had already sent my book to Jay and uh, made the arrangements uh, to get that uh, paid for and signed. Now, there's one more thing that I got from Megacon, and it is uh, original art. And it is a Spider-Verse Miles Morales. And this was done also by Gorkum Demir. Um, and I absolutely love the way this turned out. Uh, he gave it like kind of a graffiti feel to it, uh, which, you know, is a thing with Miles in the, the Spider-Verse movies. And um, I just love the way it turned out. He did an amazing job. He also provided a COA. Uh, to go with this artwork. And so you could kind of see um, Gorkum's regular signature is right there and compare it to the um, the Simsig that he put on my uh, Canto book. So uh, yeah, I have recently gotten into uh, comic art, original art. Um, and so let's talk about how we made all of this happen. So 
once MegaCon was announced, uh, Jay sometimes attends the major cons and he offered his services. He says, hey, if there are any exclusives that you want me to grab for you, uh, let me know. Or if there's anything you want me to do, you know, I could try to make it happen for you. So once Jay put it out there that he was going to be going and he was willing to, you know, try to make some things happen for me, um, the first thing I did with this piece of uh, original art is I actually started a conversation with Gorkum Demir on Instagram. I said, hey, I see that you're attending Megacon. Will you be doing original sketches at the con? Uh, and he says, well, yeah, I could do a commission for you. Uh, he says, I can actually start working on it now. I think I contacted him not shortly after they made the announcements, which is usually a couple of months before the con actually happens. And he says, that way it'll be all ready and you can pick it up from Megacon. I'll bring the piece with me. Uh, I believe Gorkum lives in Turkey. And so he, yeah, got the piece done, shared it with me well ahead of time. He says, your piece is done. I'll make sure to bring it with me uh, to the con. So once he agreed to do that, then I uh, hit up Jay. I said, hey Jay, I got a commission from Gorkum Demir. Would you mind picking that up for me? No problem, Danny, I got you. Same thing with these books. So once they announced uh, this actor, uh, there's a package that you have to separately go in for if you want to get an autograph from the celebrity, uh, pictures, selfies, things like that. Uh, you have to actually purchase those separately. Uh, they do sell out as well because it's not just unlimited until you know um, the actor's ready to go or anything. You actually have to purchase it ahead of time and they only sell so many autographs and pictures. And so once I told Jay that I was thinking about getting this uh, you know, actor signature, he, uh, a lot of you probably know him from Breaking Bad. If you're a Breaking Bad fan, he was Gus. Um, you know, if you're way back in the day, day, he was on, he was in a movie called School Days where he was a uh, Dean Big Brother Almighty. So Jay was like, well, I can go ahead and we can purchase the autograph now and then I'll just go ahead and make it happen. And um, so that's how I went about that. I sent Jay the money. He purchased, purchased the package uh, because he was the one that was actually going to be there getting the book signed. So, um, getting him the money early was key and I was able to get that signature. Um, now with these two, uh, there wasn't any pre-purchasing needed. Uh, it's kind of like you walk up to a con and, uh, you just hand the artist the book and ask them for the signature. Uh, now because Gorkum and I had already been talking and I noticed that he was doing uh, a CGC private signing. So initially I went on there. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the Jean Carlo signature was like $85 to get his signature. So not bad. I've seen way worse where actors are charging hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of dollars to get their signature. His was $85. Love it. So back to Gorkum, um, I saw his CGC private signing and the fees that were associated with the different signatures. He does a regular signature, then he does like an infinity signature of his regular signature, and then there was this one, the uh, SimSig. And uh, I looked at the pricing and I almost sent this book to the CGC private signing. And then I thought better of it because what I find is when you're going to cons, if you can get the artist's signature directly and then just sit, submit it to CGC on your own versus going through a private signing, it is cheaper to do it that way. So his, I believe this signature plus grading and all that, if I'd have went through the private signing, would, would have been like, $130 versus, um, uh, I think his signature plus the grading was like $85. So big, big savings just by sending Jay the book and letting Gorkum sign it directly. Um, so that's kind of a way to work it. If you are wanting something done and you know, someone that is going, that you can trust, you can save some money there. 
Of course, I also save money because I press the books on my own. Once I saw who was going to be at the con, I then started making decisions. Okay, what books do I want signed? Who's going to be there? And um, I immediately started uh, picking books out to clean and press, got those done, shipped them to Jay in a timely manner, and then all was good to go. And then Jay took care of the rest. So again, he is one of my go-to people in the community, very trustworthy to get stuff done. As you can see, I got all nine eights. So he also took care of my books while they were in his possession. And um, from there, you know, I got things done and I saved money in the process by doing it this way. Um, so yeah, that is my Megacon haul. So again, with the original art, you can contact artists directly if there's something that you're interested in doing. They'll send you their price information. The good thing about this is that uh, he let me know his prices well in advance so that I knew how much I needed to put aside uh, in order to make this commission happen. Gorkum is very easy to talk to. He was very nice to talk to, very enjoyable conversation with him. And um, if you have favorite artists that you want a piece from, uh, I would say just reach out to them. Some of them may not be talkative and may not like to uh, converse a lot, but some of them are. They, they're very approachable and you know, you never know unless you ask. So uh, it worked out well for me. The next con that I'll be going to probably is going to be, uh, the Phoenix Fan Fusion. So I'm not doing anything major until I, uh, go to, uh, that con. So pretty much I'll just be putting money aside, uh, to save up for, you know, hopefully to get some cool signatures there and some more original art will be coming. Uh, that is my haul. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about this unboxing, how to make things happen, what I did, other things you can do, uh, reach out to me. I'm on Instagram. Uh, of course, I'll put it across the bottom of the screen so that you can see it. And uh, yeah, I, I am busy, uh, but I do respond. Um, it may not be immediately, but I do get back to uh, my messages. Uh, because I, I like to be helpful uh, if I can be. So um, that's it for this unboxing, guys. You know what to do. Show your collection some love and take care.